Hello folks, welcome back to the studio. With me today is a jacket from Revit. This is the Revit component. It is the flagship jacket in their Dirt series. And as you may well assume, that series is designed for people who want to go off-road, but they're not fools. They understand that a lot of people will wear this kind of clothing, ride those kind of bikes in a city setting. It's not uncommon to find this sort of stuff with your commuter crowds, and it works really well for that purpose as well. Huge benefits to this particular jacket are the fact that it is just so lightweight and of course fully waterproof. It comes in at £379.99 as a CE Level A approval. It has C-Smart Level 1 armour in your elbows and your shoulders. That's very thin and comfortable. It doesn't actually have a pocket for a back protector. Now that's not so much of a deal to some people. Personally I like to have back armour but they do say they've designed it to be a little bit roomier so that you can couple it with an armoured underlay. You can go for something that they offer, they have options, or I'd probably couple it with something like the Knox Action Pro undershirts, but you have at least got a few options there. They've used a variety of different fabrics. You've got ripstop, you've got cordura, you've got neoprene actually around your collar there to make it comfortable against your skin. You'll notice it's thicker in certain areas, most notably on the arms, areas where you're likely to touch down. It needs to be more abrasion resistant. This shell outer is really thin and really lightweight despite its durability. In warmer temperatures that's going to be great because it's not going to sit on you too heavy. Even in colder temperatures though, and I have been out in it in colder temperatures, it actually does a really good job of keeping that wind chill off you if you don't want it there. And obviously on a warmer ride you've got loads of different vents across it. As I say it's really lightweight so don't worry about it too much at all. But you've got vents on your forearms, your biceps, exhaust vents at your shoulders on the back to allow that airflow out. And it is designed to be worn in those warmer months of the year. Now even though it's warmer, it's still just as likely to rain, which is why it is waterproof, reliably waterproof. You've got a laminated waterproof membrane on the inside. You have a Hydrotex 3L waterproof membrane. And even that outer fabric isn't going to allow water to sit on it too long, so it won't make you cold if it does start to rain. For storage, you've got two fairly big pockets on the front. So you actually have another pocket on the reverse at your lower back. That's quite large as well. On the inside, you have two additional pockets. All of these pockets have big chunky loops on them including the zip there as well so really easy to use even whilst wearing gloves. It also comes with a detachable hood. Useful, not everyone likes to wear a hood but if you're off the bike walking around it is a handy thing to have with you. You can detach it, it folds down nice and easy so you can pack it away and carry it with you as you might require. It's also not attached at the very centre of the hood to allow the airflow through so it doesn't catch the breeze too badly. Sometimes you'll find with other hoods when they're less well designed, they will catch the air and fill up like a sail. You're not going to get that with this one. And lastly, you have adjustability across this with various drawstrings around the jacket to tighten it in, cinch it in, and around your wrists you've got these big Velcro fasteners so you can tighten that in as well. When it comes to the sizing and fit, it is on the larger side, intentionally so. They've designed it so that it is a little bit more versatile in that sense because you can couple it with a variety of different things. Obviously it's not insulated but you can layer up underneath so you can use it in colder temperatures useful in that sense. You can put armour underneath it if you want to, so it needs that bit of extra room. Now for myself, you'll see me in the photos wearing a small, and you can see that it has a bit of room on it, but it's still a really nice, comfortable fit. In case you're wondering, I'm a fairly standard 5 foot 10 and I have a 38 inch chest. It's unique looking, very functional, very versatile, lightweight, it packs down easy, it's easy to transport with you. Definitely worth a look if you're so inclined. Follow the links in the description to this jacket if you want to see it for yourselves. Leave your questions and comments down below if you have any. And for more of the world's finest riding gear, stay tuned to Urban Rider. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.